Welcome to Jeans Reviews, where I basically do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody. I'm back after a few days. Uh, I'm going to try and get on more of a regular uploading basis. I'd like to get back to where I was doing it every single day. But let me know in the comments if you'd like to see them every day or every other day. or And also, if, if you have any videos you'd like me to react to, let me know. I'd be glad to do it. I, I'd like to react to anything. So today we're going to do one from Top Things. I haven't done them in a while. This is most satisfying videos of workers doing their jobs perfectly. Extremely fast workers. Some really dedicated people, I guess. Most people nowadays, they just do the bare minimum. Because then they're expected, you know, more. And they don't get paid anymore. So, I don't can't say I really blame them. That's how it was when I worked at retail, anyway. Let's do this. Some kind of a printing thing. Hmm. What up, y'all? We back again. This He'll is show you how things. it's done. Three against one job? Check out these construction workers hammering away in succession. That would take good timing. Can't hear any audio they're probably doing a cadence that doesn't look too impressive really it's kind of cool but... okay that that's pretty good that's really good as a matter of fact getting it all right in there too this is amazing Check out each paddler working in synchronization yeah, that is really with each cool. other. Probably counting all the cards while she's doing it, making sure the suits are all there and everything. Clams or... I like him cooked, but I tried him raw one time. <laughs> that would be hard. Repetition will lead to habitually executing a task with minimal effort, such as slicing a pizza. Oh, I didn't see anything impressive there. Coloring the tops of the boxes to yes. That's that's pretty neat. Take your eyes off for just a moment and you'll miss the speedy process. Yeah, that's that's good. That would that's a finger cutter right there. I don't know quite what he's Ever doing there. Ever seen two people using a shovel this way before? It's a lot more effective yes. than digging deep on your and a own. A lot less strenuous. I'd say she's done that a few times. That's 
cool. If there was an Olympics for fast food workers, he'd be a top competitor. I used to do that, working fast food. Whoa. Not a single one of those tipped over. beets or turnips or something you've probably heard before that humans only utilize about 10 percent of the brain's potential but for her she's well above average Cutting pasta. It's pretty neat. Hard to tell if she's working with the machine or if she's the machine herself. Really? I've done assembly line work before like that with cheese. Only I was feeding it into the machine instead of taking it out. I've seen people doing that too in meatpacking plants where I work. Quick hands take a slab of dough and swiftly splits it into noodles ready to go. Re you reach a point where you're doing it all just automatically you're not even thinking about it that's pretty cool that's a better way to cut Fast the pizza. Fast food getting made in fast fashion, but this ain't frozen fries getting reheated. He's actually taking the fresh spud and dicing them beforehand. Right, right into the fryer. That looks so good. Hmm. In case you didn't know it, I am a meat eater. Good way to keep all the wires together so they don't separate. His hands move like two machines, one for placing and coordination, while the other chops away without rest. It's a good way to do onions. Get them in small pieces I'd be wearing some kind of mesh glove though if I was him just in case you know efficiency have OSHA during there. work goes a long way than just trying to get the job done I used to do that in a restaurant, but it wasn't like that. It wasn't chopping. All oh, those little trolls. I remember those dolls. That's what it looks like anyway. Maybe it's not. He completes a packaging job that normally takes a few minutes in merely a few seconds. Wow. 
Well, that's not going to get damaged for sure. Okay, now that's impressive. I'm going to stop it there for a second because I had a job working in what was called sortation at a meat packing plant. They would box all the meat and it would come outside on a conveyor belt and run across the, across the parking lot into the building where we were. And then a computer would like send them where they went on certain floors. And they had like a person on each floor. There was three different floors. And so your stuff would come down the rollers to you and you'd have to be stacking it. Some would go going down below you. So you'd be taking it off the rollers and putting it down underneath. And then some stuff you'd have to cock your arm up and throw it up onto a pallet. That was a rough job. When I went in there, when I first started there, I had been driving truck before and I was 280 pounds when I went in there and when I within like three four months I was down to like 190 200 pounds just from working and going home and going right to bed the first like two weeks that I did that job it was all I could do to get out of bed the next day to go to work it was so rough it was so hard I hurt so bad I've never been that stiff or in that much pain in my life as that but then after I got to work and I start working after the first hour or two, the stiffness would go away. And then the next morning, it's right back again. That was a hard job. But then after a while, got used to it. Mind wanders. You don't even think about it. But now I'm thinking about it because my body's shot because of it. I had to do stuff like that. Only not not quite that high. Rhythm it was over flow. my head though. That might be the source of his speed and efficiency while working. And they were boxes of meat. So it was like anywhere from 50 pounds to 100 pounds over your head. Tried to keep the, low, the 100 pound boxes on the bottom though. Here's a behind the scenes peek of how sticks of butter are prepared and packaged. Hmm. So that's how they do it. Looks like that brand Kerry Gold or whatever. Taking all the tops off? Why? Oh. <laughs> no machines here. Just a hard worker with his two hands and his skill of utilizing traditional tools. That would be a hard job. done stuff like that too loading a truck yep so familiar the final gloss applied in the end process of constructing a wooden table is the icing on the cake that's pretty cool Looks like the guy in the middle doesn't have to do too much. <laughs> Show off. It looks fast, but I wonder how efficient it really is. 
When everyone does their part to execute the task, success is the only outcome. Oh, wow. Taking the nuts off the screws. That's a quick way to weed your garden. Making little donut holes. No matter what era we're living in, the principle of teamwork will never go out of fashion. Keeping it wet for him so he can do it a lot easier. That's pretty cool. What you're seeing here is a master at work. The impressive skill isn't just cutting fish, but is in fact a culinary art. And not taking the meat with it. Perfect fillets. Oh, a uh, line painter. I've seen those. Speed makes all the difference. These hardworking gents prove that in this clip. Not a job I'd want. So neat. I don't know if I can be that accurate. Now. How long do you think it takes to husk a coconut? Let's find out from this master. I wonder if they sped some of these up. That's obviously edited, but that's still pretty neat. How he's not getting any on the wall outlets. Boy, that guy's strong. My hell, that tree, it's like massive. Like what you see, you're gonna... Well, a lot of those people are way more dedicated than I've ever been, I'll tell you that. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments down below. I thought that was pretty neat. Now it's time for a joke. What did the bartender say to the eggs, toast, and bacon when they walked into the bar? Sorry, we don't serve breakfast. Oh.